One home solar system, two different loans. An Arkansas family says a company misled them into more than double their solar debt. It's a working for you investigation that even the feds are watching tonight. The attorney general confirms he's received 30 complaints about Sun Valley renewables, including allegations of deception. Care for is Mitch McCoy shining some light on the solar company that admits it's facing a financial dilemma. The story you're about to see is worth about $80,000. That's the total of two different loans, loans that Sun Valley Renewables told its customer it would pay off if this story did not air. The customer's response, no deal. You're having a problem. I am, I am. What's going on? Cue the drone. My husband and I hired a solar company. Shannon Austin's family hired Sun Valley Renewables in an effort to cut back on their monthly electric bill. The first solar contract signed in early 2021 totaled more than $31,000. But after that installation, we told them, hey, this is not working for us. You know, our bills are still high. You know, you need to come out and check out the system. Shannon says Sun Valley solution, additional equipment with an additional price tag. It appears from this satellite image, there were 28 original solar panels. Our drone spotted 49 on the roof now. They said they were going to refinance the loan to include the new panels and then we would just have, you know, that one payment. Listen to that last part one more time. And then we would just have, you know, that one payment. That part did not happen. Take the original loan, the first one. It was $31,000 plus the additional equipment that's 18 grand. Sun Valley Renewables helped the family take out a new loan, totaling $50,108. But Sun Valley never paid off the original $31,000 loan. It would be like having two mortgages or two car payments. That leaves Shannon and her husband with two loans, owing two banks, $81,608. They got another loan from another company like the job was brand new. Do you think they did it on purpose? I do. Shannon says instead of Sun Valley Renewables paying the first loan off like first promised, Sun Valley is sending her family monthly checks, ranging from several hundred to a thousand bucks to help pay it off. But even she says that's hit and miss. A man by the name of Stephen Walker heads up Sun Valley. Should we try giving him a call? Yeah. We called the 800 number on their website and requested to speak with Walker. Hey, it's Mitch McCoy at Channel 4. Walker says he's moved Shannon and her husband to what he calls a payment program, sending monthly checks until the first loan is paid off. For your company to actually have a payoff system, how many people are in the payoff system? Walker says about 17 customers, totaling about $400,000. Maybe I'm stupid. Is this how the solar business works? Walker says no, but he got into a situation and says he's already paid off three quarters of a million last year. Had I known that you guys were going to do this in the beginning, I would not have done business with you. Working for you wanted to know more about Sun Valley Renewables and Stephen Walker. For the record, this is not him. It's a stock image. This is Stephen Walker, the man Shannon says works for Sun Valley. Court records reveal a judge ordered him to serve federal time before. Once in 2012 for tax evasion and again in 2013 for bank fraud. The U.S. attorney said then that Walker fabricated invoices to get a $423,000 construction loan. But there was no construction. Back to Walker's recent work. What was your average electric bill before the solar panels? It was about 200. There has been no change. We haven't seen any any change. Shannon says she has no idea if the 49 solar panels on her home are working properly. An Entergy spokeswoman tells Working For You they were unaware of additional equipment being installed, saying, quote, we have since found it is connected to the grid, despite the company not informing us of additional equipment. We're tired. I don't even want any of the money back, but I don't want to be responsible for these loans. Shannon didn't know going green would put her so far in the red. The two different banks did not officially comment, but Dividend Finance, the group behind the $50,000 loan, told the Arkansas Attorney General that it does not refinance existing solar loans. Dividend says that Sun Valley appears to have made, quote, material misrepresentations and plans to demand that Sun Valley pay back the $50,000 loan. Back to you.
Mitch, thank you. And if there's something you'd like us to look into on your behalf, our Working For You hotline is waiting for your call. You can send us a message on our website too. That's krk.com slash working for you.